We're going to read Mommy's Kumar today, okay? Let's see who the author is. Jamila Tompkins Bigelow, and the illustrations are by Ebony Glenn. Let's look at the illustration on the cover. I think this is Mommy, yeah. And look, she's sitting in Mommy's lap, and they're holding each other and smiling. You know what else I see? I see a heart with their bodies. I see Mama's head down to her elbow, and then her head down to Mommy's elbow too. Do you see it? I like that. It's very sweet. All right, are you ready? A kimar is a flowing scarf that my mommy wears. Before she walks out the door each day, she wraps one around her head. See, she's putting it on. And she says, don't forget your bag, Mom. That was nice. In Mommy's closet, there are so many Kimars, so many that I can't count them. Black ones, white ones, purple, blue and red, stripes, patterns, and polka dots, too. <gasps> Look at Mommy's closet. It's a rainbow. That's so pretty. Some have tassels, some have beads, some have sparkly things all over. And she has my favorite color. What's her favorite color? It's yellow. When I put on Mommy's Kimar, I become a queen with a golden train. You see that? She's using her imagination. She's a queen. Under the Kimar, my braids and twists form a bumpy crown. It's not easy to cover the many plates Mommy puts in my hair. You see? Mommy's putting braids in her hair, and then she puts the Kimar on top. She said, it's not easy, but mommy can do it, huh? When I wear mommy's kimar, I shine like the sun. I dive and become a shooting star into a pile of clouds. Of course, I make sure that mommy doesn't see me. Look, she's using her imagination again. She's jumping from cloud to cloud and dives into the biggest cloud of them all. Her bed. <laughs> she's having fun. When I wear mommy's kimar, I'm a mama bird. I spread my golden wings and shield my baby brother as he sleeps in his nest. Mommy shakes her head, but her eyes are smiling. Look, mommy's eyes, she's looking at them. What else is mommy doing? She's folding the laundry. Thanks, mom. She says, superhero. When I wear mommy's kimar, I'm a superhero with a cape, dashing from room to room at the speed of light. Daddy snatches me up and I fly. Mommy can't stop laughing when his bristly beard tickles my cheek with a kiss. You see, he lifted her up high and she's flying and he's got a beard. He tickled her face with, with a kiss. Ah. <laughs> When I wear mommy's kimar, mommy is with me even when she's away. I close my eyes and if I breathe in deeply, really deeply, I smell the coconut oil in mommy's hair and the cocoa butter on her skin. And if I breathe in even more deeply than that, I smell the cinnamon in her favorite dessert. She always shares a piece. You see that? She's swinging. She has her eyes closed, she's smiling, and she's thinking about her mom. And she took a deep breath, she took a deep breath and went, oh, and she can even smell her mom, the coconut, and the cocoa butter, and the cinnamon too, yum. When I wear mommy's kimar and mom mom visits after Sunday service, she sings out, sweet Jesus, and calls me sunshine. Mom, mom doesn't wear a kimar. She doesn't go to the mosque like mommy and daddy do. We are a family and we love each other just the same. You see that? That's her mom, mom, her grandma. Yeah. Like they're about to give each other a hug. They love each other. And look, mom, mom doesn't wear a kimar. She doesn't go to the mosque like her and her mom and dad do. But it's okay. They still love each other. Mm -hmm. It's okay. When I go to the mosque wearing mommy's kimar, the older women coo. And then they go, oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, little sis. Mommy smiles so proud. They said, assalamu alaikum. Do you know what that means? That means peace to you. I like that. Do you know what peace means? 
you know how we have our brain, right? Well, when your brain is nice and calm because you had a lot of hugs and kisses and you're so happy and your tummy is full, that's peace. So they're saying peace to you. Assalamu alaikum. Isn't that nice? I like that. I like that a lot. All right. My Arabic teacher exclaims, beautiful, beautiful hijab. Hijab is the word she uses for kimar. Sometimes I say hijab too. Let's look at this page. Look, that's the teacher. And all these are the students. You see them? They're all friends. The teacher has a hijab and she has a kimar on. What about their friends? Do they have one on too? No, they don't. That's okay. When I wear mommy's kimar and we go home and it starts to get dark outside, mommy tells me gently, take it off, it's time for sleep. She removes the kimar from her head and I remove mine and we hang them up for the night. Look, we put them back in the rainbow closet. I look around at all the kimars, too many to count. I stroke the yellow scarf one last time. She's giving it a hug. She loves it. I close my eyes and breathe in deeply, really deeply. And if I breathe in deeply enough, I can take mommy's kimar with me. I place it inside my head. I take other things and place them there too. So look, she's going to sleep and she's thinking about mommy's kimar. She put it right inside of her head. Let's see what else she puts inside of her head. A crown with a train, the sun and a shooting star, a baby dozing on a golden wing. I take a ticklish kiss in the sky, coconut and cocoa with a cinnamon sweet and the prayers of gray haired women. Those are all the things that happened in her day. She had a pretty good day. She was a queen. She pretended to jump on the clouds. She was a mama bird. She saw her mom mom. She saw the ladies at the mosque. She had a good day. I take all these things with me and I go to sleep. Though mommy is away, it feels like she comes too. Look, they're singing together. It says, mommy is away. In this illustration, she's right here, but remember, that was in her head, right? She's sleeping, she's laying down, and she's thinking of all the wonderful things in her day, right? But when you think of those things that you love, you can put them right here, and it feels like they're right there with you. You remember the gratitude breath? Mm -hmm, that's kind of like that. The gratitude breath is when you think of whatever you love, whoever you love, right? And you think about them in your head and you think about them so much that you can even smell them like she smelled her mom, yeah? You think about them and you take a deep breath. <sighs> yeah, they're always there, the things that you love. They're always right there with you, okay? Even if they're just in here inside your wonderful brain, still with you. All right, I hope you enjoyed Mommy's Kimar. I liked it a lot, yeah? Assalamu alaikum.